Hey there everyone, it's Maria Young here and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to this channel, welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. And in this episode, what we're gonna be doing is showing you guys the easiest propagation method ever. Because number one, we're not going to have to wait for new leaves to grow. Number two, we are not even going to have to wait for new roots to grow. And number three, we aren't even going to have to repot it. I mean, it does not get any more simple than that folks and the subject matter at hand and also our prime candidate for this type of propagation is this monstera albo Brasigiana. and as you're seeing it is a healthy plant nice sized leaves here and you're also seeing those fenestrations that have begun as well. And we've selected this plant right here because it did offer us the opportunity of doing this type of propagation because of the way that it was growing. So we decided to go ahead and take advantage of the opportunity. And what we're hoping for is that this plant will not be stagnated or stunted in any way, but instead it would continue to grow, progress forward, and act as though nothing has happened happened at all except for the fact that it may give us a growth or two or three at least we can hope and then we can make this plant an even fuller plant how's that for a plan guys and as we take a closer look at this plant right here we are going to see exactly why i have declared this plant to be the prime candidate for this type of propagation as you are seeing those aerial roots healthy healthy aerial roots by the way you're seeing them actually growing all the way down and into the soil where they've established themselves so it is a okay for them to grow in this manner and as a matter of fact we're glad that they have anchored themselves down so that we can go ahead and make the cut that we need and we're actually going to allow them to grow in the same way that they are growing right now and the only thing that we're really going to have to do in preparation to make our cut is remove these two leaves right here that's going to give us a clear view of exactly where we need to make that cut and it's also going to allow us to make that cut exact and precise and our actual plan is to cut right here where the top portion will have these two roots and then the bottom portion will have the remaining roots see there guys didn't i tell you it was going to be such a cinch easy as pie guys right i hope so all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the two leaves that I told you about. So we'll do that right now. It'll be a cinch. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. So these are the two leaves. They've been removed. So we're gonna go ahead and make the cut now, guys. And where we actually wanna make that cut is right here. There's actually not that big of a space because these are where the two leaves came from and we want to cut right in between there so we don't want to cut into those nodes so here we go guys we're going to attempt to do this without a cutting board so here we go and i'm going to remove my finger from that area and we're making our way i can feel it going through this knife is pretty sharp but i'm taking it slow guys there you go there's the cut you see that there's the cut right there and so what we're going to do now is put some cinnamon powder on both areas where it's an open wound. And then I'm going to go ahead and stake it up so that this will be held. And again, look, nice cut right there and possible chance of new growth of a vine in both areas, both cuttings, top and also bottom. And as you can see guys, I went ahead and took a stake and I twisty tied the actual top cutting in place so that it'll be more stable. And now all there is left to do is to go ahead and put cinnamon onto those wounds so that it'll be assisted in drying out and less of a chance of catching any type of infection. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it, folks. Now, didn't I tell you guys this was going to be the easiest propagation ever? You guys didn't believe me, but we did it within a blink of an eye. And look at here, she's almost good as new. And if we take a look where we actually made that cut, you are seeing that little stick that I inserted there. And that's basically to allow the wounds to dry. Afterwards, I can actually take that stick out and you won't even know that it's been cut at all. And now that we have made the propagation, we're hoping that this grows as normal. And we also hope that we'll get a new growth from the bottom portion and also from the top. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Now, because this is a healthy plant and because we've elected to propagate it in this manner right here, the actual cuttings are not going to have to focus on growing brand new roots, nor is it going to have to focus on growing brand new leaves. And because we're not even going to be repotting this at all, that means the root system that has been established will not be disturbed in any way, and it will absolutely be growing as it was before. And because in this propagation there is minimal stress and also disturbance to the plant system as a whole that means it can focus all of its attention into growing new growths of vines and new fenestrated leaves at least that's my hope and also the method to my madness i mean it seems logical to me does it seem logical to you and before i forget to show you i did take the stick out and this is what it's looking like now so from a distance you really can't even tell and of course, when new vines start to grow, you won't even notice it at all. And I did want to show you some other propagations that I've done. Now, it's not identical in every way, but it is similar in the aspect of these cuttings already had their roots and also leaves, and they didn't skip a beat at all. There was no recovery process. There was no wait time. It just continued to grow as normal. And this one right here, you may already recognize, is the very famous Gloriosum. And I wanted to show you the actual cutting because these are creepy crawlers that grow on the surface. So it's very easy to propagate these. This plant is known for having its root system grow from the underside and also at the sides of the stem area. So it is always safe to say that if the plant is healthy, you will always have some roots growing. And because the stem of the plant actually grows on the surface, it is so easy to make your cuttings and also keep the leaves intact. So with this cutting right here, it already had its leaves growing and then of course its roots and this right here actually is the new leaf that has unfurled and if we take a look over this way you're gonna see the new leaf in production as well so this has grown as normal without skipping a beat and the same holds true for these pasta zanums right here and here are some more creepy crawly propagations that I've done and within this container, I have some mommies, some pasta zanums, and also some plowmanii's. And they already had roots attached to them. Of course, no leaves, but they are quite hardy and easy to grow. So indeed, these have taken up lovely. So now it's just the matter of the waiting game. And the way that we're gonna know that this has successfully worked, again, we're hoping that this will progress forward without a hitch, is that within about two to three weeks, this right here, this lattice leaf, should come up with a new leaf, guys. And if the new leaf actually comes out fenestrated, then we know that this has grown as normal, even though we propagated it. And that's what we're hoping for. But if that doesn't work, it's A-OK, -okay. fine guys. It's still the easiest propagation method ever. And we still hope that we're gonna get some new growths out of this. We're gonna keep an eye on this. I'm gonna be updating you guys, so definitely stay tuned for more. And of course, if you guys have ever did a propagation that is similar to this, let me know. Also, let me know exactly what you did and what were your results. Let me know what you guys think about this propagation right here and let me know what you think is actually going to occur and make sure you guys post those comments below. So this is basically an experiment as well in hopes that we are not going to get any type of regression and we are not going to have any types of setbacks. And 
Yeah, it's about to storm. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this at a later date. Oh my gosh, it's like a hurricane coming in here. All right, bye-bye, we'll try this tomorrow. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Tropical Plant Adventures, where you know that we're always on a constant mission to learn and to grow. The more that we know, the more that we can grow. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys later on my next adventure. Bye-bye.